Welcome to the Ampere exhibition. We are here on the Protronics stand with Mr. Žáček, Executive Director of Protronics. Protronics is presenting here a new CO2 sensor with the data visualization on the iCraft cloud. So, Mr. Žáček, can you tell us a little bit more about the whole solution? One of our products is uh, internal air quality sensor. It's a sensor which is able to measure uh, CO2, carbon dioxide, at the same time relative humidity and the temperature. You can see here, uh, this is the new one with a module, a radio module, which, uh, which uh, gives us a possibility to transfer data to the cloud, basically. So, why did you choose the IQRF as the wireless technology? We have uh, received uh, for last year, mainly last year, we have received a lot of requirements uh, from our customers regarding the wireless solutions. So, we have started to try to find some uh, best solution. So why did you decide to integrate the IQRF technology? Yeah, good question. Uh, we, as I said, we, uh, last year we have started to find some good solution and we uh, were in the Munich and Electronica exhibition last year, I guess in, it was in uh, November. And there we, uh, we have seen a lot of different solutions and we, uh, s we saw that at that time this solution for IQRF and we have started some discussions and it started to seem to us that it's a good solution for us. So how did the integration go? Was it good or was it easy or difficult? Yeah, good question, thank you. Because we, our, let's say, core business is uh, in the sensors, so we didn't want to pay too much attention to the communication or too much attention and money, of course, uh, to the design and development of some uh, wireless modules and the cl cloud solution, etc. So we, uh, that was one of the reasons was this, uh, it, was not, it looks at the beginning uh, very easy, let's say, or not so complicated. And so we started uh, mainly due to, this, uh, the, due to these facts. So did you realize the integration just by yourself or do, did you cooperate with other companies? Yeah, yeah we, we started to cooperate, of course, with, with IQ, IQRF and they uh, gave us uh, very good support uh, from their engineer or technician. So we started, uh, I, I think it was in uh, January or at the, in the middle of the February and just first we have made uh, some first steps that it really started to see it's uh, not so complicated, it's uh, relatively easy for us to uh, in, in, implement this uh, module and uh, so we then we started to co cooperate, to communicate with a third party let's say who provide us this cloud solution. How long did it take, I mean the whole development from your decision to being here on this exhibition? At the beginning we had a little bit worry how much time does it take and basically it was about uh, five, six, seven weeks and we have a solution on the table and you can see here this is our sensor with, with a communication module and there's a gateway well, through this uh, gateway the data we transfer to the cloud and uh, through cloud to the website and you can see on the, on the screen that the uh, monitoring of the actual quality of CO2, relative humidity and temperature. Do you plan to cooperate further with the ICRF Alliance and with the other members? Yeah, we, we cooperate with uh, SI, CIS, sorry, is a company, each company who provides the cloud solutions and so we discuss about the uh, visualization of the data and, and etc. of the zooms and you know visibility of the data and right setting of everything. So thanks a lot for the interview. I wish you good luck with your products and solutions and I'm looking forward to meet you on another exhibition. Thank you, you are welcome. Bye.